Back in the show, Brian Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also of WrestlingObserver.com. During the break, Mike goes, what do you want to talk about next? And uh, what did I say? I don't know. I don't know. Just roll the dice, see what we end up with. Well, There's here's the thing. Going on. Here's the thing. There's so much to talk about. But sometimes I just want to talk about what's on my mind. What's that? Well, I'd what's on my mind, it's some something It's something that came, out, uh, came up today, and we talked about it at the very end of the show yesterday. And I, I mentioned it on the board, and a lot of people got talking about it. And before I get into it, I just want to say that uh, I'm smiling and everything, but in all seriousness, uh, one of the things that is really irritating nowadays, and I guess maybe it's not new, but it, it feels like it feels different now, is people really want everything to be black and white. Yeah. And they, you know, they're fans of one thing. They don't want to hear anything negative. They hate another thing. They don't want to hear anything positive. It's got to be black and white. And it's not. And I try very hard to try to tell you what is what is going on and, and both sides of it. And, you know, people get mad. People have quit. And it's frustrating. But I have to do this, okay? And... A great example is like, and it's 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 funny because like I go on like I I I don't know why I did this. It was stupid, but some of the clips from uh, the CM Punk thing that what I talked about here on the show they went up on YouTube, and I never look at comments, but it was me talking about CM Punk, so I was like, oh man, I gotta look at these comments. I just I don't know why it was a glutton for punishment, and it's like people are so stupid. I mean, yeah. I just kept reading over and over about how I was wrong and this. And the funny thing is, there were so many things that I said, you know, Punk is right about this. And Punk is right about that. And you know what? There were other things that he was not right about, that he was wrong about. And when people listen, they only hear what they want to hear or what they want to get mad about. Okay? Now, here is, I, I, I bring all that up because I want to talk about AW Medical. Okay? So CM Punk talked about how I tore my triceps in AEW and I tore my triceps in WWE and like things are, it's way better here. I, I, I think, I feel like I could be back at any time. It's night and day. He says, when I tore my triceps in AEW, man, I didn't hear from anybody for six months. I had to handle all of that myself. And, you know, people hear all this. And what do they say? Well, terrible. A.W. terrible. And then, you know, there were other people that were like, Punk must be lying. A.W. could not be that terrible. To them, it's either black or white. And the reality is, it's not black or white. The way it works is this. If I blow out my knee, WWE is going to send me directly to James Andrews. They're going to pay for it. You know, they're going to they're going to find a rehab place. They're going to send they're going to do everything, everything. OK. In AEW, you blow out your knee. And what happens is you find a doctor. You find a surgeon. You find a rehab place and you pay for this. And then there's like an app. And you expense it back and they pay for it. OK. Now. People heard that, and it was black and white again. You know, this is the better way, whatever. And the fact is, you know, it's not black or white. One way is not necessarily better than the other. In both companies, they are taking care of your injury, okay? How they do it is different. You know, and people brought up Rey Mysterio. You know, Rey Mysterio, he wanted specific people to do specific things. WWE wants specific people to do specific things. So if you're a Ray, you might prefer the way that AEW does it. Go to your guy, do your stem cells or whatever, your, your special guy that you know, and they pay you back for it, okay? Other people, clearly CM Punk is one of them. I don't want to find a doctor. I don't want to find a, a surgeon. I don't want to like set up my own rehab. Like, do it for me. Send me there. That's what he wants, okay? 
So, like, people all angry about one way or the other. I mean, hey, listen, I was rolling the other day, lifted someone for a butterfly sweep, pop! I was like, well, that was loud. <laughs> but you know what? It didn't hurt. It was weird. Kept rolling, went home, and my knee was feeling kind of weird. And so I stood up and I, like, did a butt kicker. I just, like, kicked my own butt with my heel because sometimes that'll, like, ma make it feel better. It'll pop and kind of whatever. And it popped again, and it did not feel good. And, you know, over the next 24 hours, I was like, dude, I'm screwed. Like, I tore my meniscus or something. And what did I do? Well, I have a guy, <laughs> just a chiropractor down the road, but, like, he does a great job. They've got some newfangled laser that they, that they, I mean, there's all this stuff. And it was like, I, that's what I want to go. I want to go try that first. Okay. That's what I want to do. WWE, I'd be like sent right to James Andrews or whatever, flying all the way out to, I want to go and, and try this first. If it doesn't work, you know, my thing was, if it doesn't work, if it's not getting better, then I'm going to go get an MRI and I'm going to have to get a surgeon. Okay. Now, if that comes to pass, like, I would love somebody to set that up for me. Tell me who to go to, pay for it, tell me what to do afterwards, pay for it, and I'll do it, okay? But initially, I want to try and do my own thing. And by the way, my knee is, like, way better. So I think I dodged a bullet. But the point is, there is no, this is the right way, this is the wrong way. If they're, if they're reimbursing you or they're paying outright, whatever, they're paying for the injury you suffered on the job. Now, the Anthony Henry thing, what happened there? Or, or other, other people, you know, I don't even know exactly what happened with Anthony Henry. But he was released and he had a broken jaw, correct? Yes. And I believe the broken jaw happened outside of AEW. I think it was a deadlock pro show against Brian Keith. Okay. Well, so what's the situation here? If he takes an indie booking... And he gets injured. Should AEW pay for the injury that he suffered on an indie booking? Well, that is for you guys to argue what you think the right answer is. In WWE, they wouldn't let you do an indie date because they don't want you to get hurt. So they just don't let you do it. So if AEW allows you to take independent bookings on your own and you get hurt, should they pay for it? Now, here's the deal. Some of you will say, well, yes, it's the right thing to do or whatever. Some of you will say, no, you went and did your own thing and got hurt. If you work at McDonald's and go to Burger King and slip on the on ice or whatever, we're supposed to pay for your injury that you got somewhere else? So I don't know what the answer is, but my point in all of this is it's not black and white. It's not good guy versus bad guy. It's two different systems, and some people like some more than they like another. Anthony Henry's been rehired. That's the segue. <laughs> yes, he has. Tony Khan has decided to rehire him, but not the boys, he said in a, a, a conference call today. The boys repeatedly missed shows, something he said that was known in the locker room, and so they're not coming back. And apparently they were running wild on uh, Twitter today. I don't know Repeatedly about... missed shows. Yeah. You know, that is grounds for termination, I, I would you know, presume. I The first time around, it could be that the case. But, uh, you know, it, it's too bad for him. The Johnny TV, Dalton Castle stuff, from what I've seen, has been very entertaining because it's been Johnny TV and Dalton Castle doing it. And, you know, there's a great example of just maybe they, they didn't want to be there. <laughs> well, I guess I'll get on Twitter and see their side of the story if they're going off about it on social media. But, you know, you make it pretty easy for your boss to make a decision on you when you decide not to show up for work. And uh, this person goes, Shane Baszler's working the GCW show tomorrow. Isn't that an indie bookie? Well, that's different. That's yeah. set up by WWE. They've made an agreement, and she is going there. So if she gets hurt versus Masha Slamovich, they'll take care of everything. They'll pay for everything. So, I mean. You're an independent contract. That's different from, okay, I'm on a per-match contract with AEW, but I can do whatever I want otherwise. So I'm going to go and take some bookings wherever. I'm going to do some match in a parking lot with, you know, bombs or whatever, and I get hurt. Well, then should I say, A.W., I chose to do this show. I chose to get blown up by a bomb. Can you cover my, uh, you know? So that's the difference. 
And, you know, again, it's you're talking about the systems and you're exactly right about that because you brought up stem cells and, and some things like that that guys in the NFL have gone to Europe for because their doctors know we can't do this. And then they get into it. Doctors get into it with each other over the medicines. It's just one of those things where, yeah, I guess if you're WWE at this point in the game, you should have that structure. But if you're AEW or if you're any other wrestling company, these are your independent contractors. I mean, you can be magnanimous to a point, but if somebody goes out and gets hurt on a, on another show or something like that, they should be taking care of that. And I like the idea of being able to choose my own doctors and have my own people to go through and, you know, that sort of stuff, especially if they're going to pay for it and you bill it back anyway. And I'm sure, again, for a lot of these folks, too, I don't, you know, I don't think that they would have to pay everything all at once a forty thousand dollar surgery before they got that back from AEW, but I'm sure that AEW would have to be billed for it. To me, I think there's that's a great question that somebody should ask Tony Khan at some point of what is the gray area there? So a guy doesn't have to come up with eighty thousand dollars first to get it back later. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.